Hi everybody, Big Bong here and today I would like to express my gratitude to you guys. Our channel has reached 100,000 subscribers, so congratulations to us because the channel is nothing without its followers. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Here is the famous play button. And you know what's pretty funny is that before receiving it I was like, do I really need that? I'm happy just making videos and share everything I'm passionate about. And if I can make people smile on the way, then I don't need more. But holding it in my hands now does mean something. Well, first it's nice to be recognized by YouTube, but most of all I think uh, it's a way to look back at the hundreds of hours uh, of shooting, recording, editing, writing subtitles. Man, these take so much time and it's quite special to realize everything that's been accomplished. There. It kind of reminds me of my graduation ceremony. When I was a kid, you know, the hat and the robe looked quite a bit funny. To be honest, I couldn't take the whole thing seriously. But as I was attending mine, it didn't really matter. What was important was the sense of achievement. And it felt good thinking about all these years from primary school to university. In addition to the award itself, I received a letter printed on a very nice sheet of paper from the current CEO of YouTube, Susan Wuchewski. Do you remember your first subscriber? As a matter of fact, I do. It's my little baby brother, Echan, who still watches all my videos. I love you, bro, though I'm still waiting for you to come and visit me. All right, so without further ado, and as promised, I'll be answering a few questions. And we begin with one that I actually receive quite often. Where are you from? Here we have Vu, who is more specifically asking, what is your ethnicity? So let's start by getting that out of the way once and for all. My mother is Japanese, and on my father's side, my grandpa was French, and my grandma was Lebanese. I moved to Canada by myself almost seven years ago now and I've got to say it's been an amazing experience so far. Now we have a second question from Bundit. How many languages do you know and what did you study in college? First of all, for most people, mother tongue and native tongue are synonyms, but for me there is a clear distinction. My mother is literally Japanese and it's the very first language I've ever spoken, but I was born and raised in France. So when people ask, I usually say that my mother tongue is Japanese and that my native tongue is French. Alors évidemment, j'imagine que vous voulez une petite démonstration, donc je suis bien né en France, mais pas n'importe où, dans le nord comme Jon Snow. On y parle un dialecte qui s'appelle le ch'ti, mais malheureusement j'ai tout oublié parce que mes parents ont déménagé dans la région parisienne quand j'avais 5 ans, donc j'ai surtout baigné dans cette culture qui n'est pas la plus appréciée du pays. Now I must warn you with a little disclaimer, I am studying or I have studied the languages that follow but I'm not fluent in them. So if you don't want to call me a polyglot, that's fine. I prefer calling myself a language enthusiast anyway. En la escuela francesa también aprendí el español. Así como aprendimos inglés de Inglaterra, estábamos aprendiendo el español castellano, el español de España. Um, pero ahora que vivo en Canadá, estoy rodeado de latinoamericanos, entonces ahora creo que estoy más acostumbrado a su acento. Ich habe auch Deutsch im Gymnasium gelernt, aber am meisten habe ich gelernt, als ich in deutschsprachige Länder gereist bin. Deutschland, natürlich, aber auch Österreich und die Schweiz. Aber ehrlich gesagt, habe ich fast alles vergessen. Krigo yejane ke hwanak senero soreso yukewol tongan sarasasseyo. Deha girimun maraji anketiman, sashil cho hangugo kyoje do naun jokdo isseyo. Kinde dogiro choram hangoro yegi hal kiwega opsoso yugamsurupke do chigumun koi tai joboroseyo. O anke iniziato a imparare l'italiano per il mio viaggio con il mio amico Federico. E tam ben come seyo portugues para minha viagem ao Brasil com meus amigos brasileiros. Sempre viet Меня зовут Биг Бон, но извините, я не говорю по-русски. <laughs> Now I told you that my dad is half Lebanese, but he was born and raised in France, so unfortunately he never spoke the language. Now truth being told, everyone in my Lebanese family speaks at least Arabic, English and French. Why are you so amazing, guys? Alright, so the other question was, what did you study in college? Well, I got a bachelor's degree in international affairs uh, at a French university and I continue with graduate studies in journalism at a Canadian one. I have a question from Ingrid Montana who has been a fan for quite a while now. I would like to know how you found the motivation and courage to start your journey as a blogger, how you discovered your passion, who and what was your source of inspiration at the beginning of all this experience.
experience, or still, and how you defeated the fear of starting something new? Well, if I had to answer that question with one word, it would be passion. Because when you're passionate about something, it's more frustrating not to do it than to start doing it. You know what I mean? So it was just natural. Now, it's been six years since I started this channel. And of course, there were times uh, during which I really wanted to stop and delete everything. These were the toughest times. But I found the motivation and courage to carry on thanks to the community and messages like yours. So here is a question from Jesus. What has been the best moments or experiences while doing YouTube videos so far? Well, it's always a pleasure to create content for you guys. But to be honest, sometimes spending hours speaking to a camera and then editing can feel pretty lonely. So what I enjoy most is when I can invite guests on my channel. It's also a way for me to learn new things on a personal level. Now, I don't travel for vlogs yet, but sometimes when I travel, I do vlog and these are the best memories. Before we conclude, I would like to mention, of course, Mark Hashem, his cousin Kevin and all his family, who were very supportive, especially at the beginning of this channel. And of course, I'd like to give a shout out to my childhood friends, Kilsan, Takamoto, Luke, Schwan, Kosei and Chris, because that's where my passion for video making really started about 15 years ago. I remember we were editing on Windows Movie Maker and as a matter of fact we also had a YouTube channel back in 2007. We were making very silly videos, pretty similar to Niga Higa actually. But we received very harsh and mean comments so we decided to stop, though I've always wondered what it would have been if we decided to continue. Anyway, we all have different lives now in various parts of the world but if you guys are watching I just want to let you know that I think about you. I believe friendship is very important so why not take the time to to tell our friends. That concludes this video. If you still haven't subscribed, it's not too late to do it. Bye.